let's use quadratic equation to find the sides of a rectangle okay uh, the diagonal of a rectangle is 20 more than the shorter side okay so in a rectangle if you recall you have length and you have breadth the breadth is basically the shorter side right you are told that the diagonal of a rectangle now incidentally the diagonal of a rectangle if you talk about it is written as the square root of sum of length square plus the breadth square right and what you're told is that the diagonal is 20 more than the shorter side so if it is like B and this is L the diagonal is basically 20 more than the shorter side so let's say if I call the diagonal as D D is equal to B plus 20 right if the longer side is 10 more than the shorter side or in other words the length is equal to B plus 10 find the sides of the rectangle we need to find out what is the length we need to find out what is the breadth right so how do you find this out so like I told you we've been given the formula that the diagonal is equal to under root of L square plus B square but the diagonal is also given as B plus 20 right or in other words we can say that B plus 20 is equal to square root of length squared length is how much b plus 10 plus b squared right and here we go we have a quadratic equation at hand squaring both the sides you get b plus 20 whole square which is b square plus 400 plus 40 b is equal to the square root will go over here right so what you will be left with is b plus 10 whole square plus b square now b plus 10 whole square is equal to b square plus 100 plus 20b plus b square cancel out these two because they are the same right now how do you move about to move about it let's move b to the side so 40b minus 20b right minus b square is equal to 400 if it moves on to that side what do you get you get 100 minus 400 right or actually we could have uh, done a little better we just move b to this side okay so what are we left with we'll be left with b goes to that side so we have b square for this 40b minus 20b gives you 20b when 20b moves to the other side it becomes minus 20b right and here you had minus 300 equals to 0 can you find out the value of b by this the answer is pretty simple now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this equation to the next page which is like b square minus 20b minus 300 b square minus 20b minus 300 is equal to 0 300 can be written as 30 times 10 right so I will write this minus 20 B as B square minus 30 B plus 10 B the sum of these two being equal to 20 minus 300 equals to 0 right now what I do is I club these two I club these two B B minus 30 plus 10 B minus 30 is equal to 0 or in other words we get B plus 10 and B minus 30 is equal to 0 which gives us two values for B B is equal to minus 10 or B is equal to 30 this plus 10 becomes minus this minus 30 becomes 30 now we know the age cannot be or so actually the length cannot be in negative right when I say length I mean the breadth okay so this value won't work the value that we get for B is equal to 30 now coming back the length is how much the length is equal to B plus 10 or 30 plus 10 is equal to 40 
So the two sides of the triangle, or sorry, the rectangle are 40 and 30 respectively. Right? You want to take it out? So if, if how much is the diagonal? The diagonal is B plus 20. B is 20, so the diagonal should be 50. Right? If I put in the value of L and B over here, what do I get? Under root 40 square, 1600 plus B square. B is 30. 30 square gives you 900. Square root of 2500, which is 50. And therefore, that kind of completes this particular question.